And here we are, back in Playmo City. Today, we are taking a trip into the countryside. Mrs. Parker has planned an outing. Ah, Robert and Bennett are already here. But wait a moment, where is Lisa? The twins are normally inseparable. Order is the level of chaos to which one has become accustomed. Wow, where did you get that quote from? Einstein or Goethe? No, Mrs. Parker always says that whenever she sees your bedroom. I clean up all the time. For example, last Christmas, I cleaned my bedroom. And now it's the summer. Phew, found it. I knew it was here. Super cool. Yippee, faster, faster. Phew, Robert, you're heavier than a washing machine. It seems that poor Mrs. Parker is quite out of breath. Uh-oh, and there is a hill up ahead. She's gonna have to pedal hard to get up there. Hmm, where exactly is Mr. Parker? Ah, there he is, building something as always. Perhaps it will end up as a little brother for Robert. Oh, surely it can't be. Oh no. Hello, Mrs. Green. It's quite a long way to your place, but it's worth it. You have the best vegetables. Mmm, your cauliflower looks good enough to eat right away. Oh, yuck. She's buying cauliflower. It's good for you, little brother. Vegetables are rich in vitamins and fiber. They are very important for promoting growth in young Playmos. Ah, healthy. So, Mrs. Parker, what would you like? By the way, we also visit Playmo City with our van on a regular basis. Really? So I rode all the way here for nothing? Oh, well... It doesn't matter. What will I take? Hmm. Mom, we're gonna look at the animals. What? Oh, I see. Okay. So I'll take potatoes and cucumbers. And the lettuce also looks fantastic. Or maybe the red cabbage instead. Oh, it's all so delicious. Oh, how nice. The hens even have their own car. How funny. They are camping hens. Since when do hens go on camping expeditions? A highly unusual combination. I must check that as soon as I have Wi-Fi access again. Robert, that was a joke. What is a joke? It's when something is funny and you don't mean it seriously. Who on earth is that? A robot? How cool. And who are you? Hi, I'm Bennett. And I'm Lisa. My name is Jacob. I live here. If you like, I'll show you our animals. Those are our cows and our little calf, Buttercup. This is our dog, Muffin. He is almost as big as me. And these are our wild animals. Sometimes we find injured animals in the forest, then we nurse them back to health. Our fawn there even feeds from a bottle every three hours. These here are rabbits and guinea pigs. And that is my favorite. Louise? Oh no, Louise has escaped again. She's always doing that. We must look for her. Louise! Wow, that's a cool machine. Louise! Yikes, what sort of vegetable is that? That is Louise. She must have escaped again. Jacob! Oh, look there. Mom has Louise. But I'm also going to let Louise go again. Animals need plenty of exercise and must be well looked after every single day. Even on the weekend. What would we do when we go away? I haven't said a word. But I can already see it in your face, sweetheart. But please, Mom. Just one little guinea pig. At least it would be pleased when you buy vegetables. Guinea pigs originate from South America and live in groups by nature. They clean each other's fur, keep each other warm, and protect one another. That is why you should never keep just one guinea pig. Then it will feel lonely and stressed. But wait, what's this? How did Lily get herself in there? Someone took their eye off the ball there for a moment. Hello, can somebody intervene? It's so exciting to get to know nice new neighbors. And what does working as a computer scientist at the famous Space Center involve? We are planning the next mission to Mars. 
We are relying on artificial intelligence. Uh, for example, I am working on the model-based probabilistic search for the hyperparameters of automated learning algorithms with the help of Bayesian optimization. Lily looks a little confused. Did she understand any of that? Probably not. That sounds, mm, very, very interesting. Really very, um, exciting. And your amazing invention, the robot. Does it also have a name? The children named it Robert. Robert the robot, yes. I'll make a note of that. Well, I must be going. It was lovely chatting with you. See you, Mr. Sweetheart. I mean, Mr. Parker. Oh, no. This just can't be happening. Now Lily knows Robert's name. Doesn't Mr. Parker realize that Lily is up to no good? Hopefully Lisa Bennett and Mrs. Parker will be home soon. Stop. 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 What's up, Robert? Is everything okay? The South American rodent is gnawing at my insul insulation. Shh, Robert. What on earth is that? Robert, you can't just take an animal from the farm away with you. It wasn't Robert. Jacob gave it to me. He said it would give him an excuse to come and visit me in Playmo City every now and again. Lisa, we can't keep the guinea pig on its own. Robert explained that to us, didn't he? Strictly speaking, that is correct, but not in this case. That is because we have a second guinea pig. What? Hello, there you are. Did you have a nice outing? Yes. yes. Did you have a visitor? Our new neighbor, the girl from number 33, was here. 33? But the house numbers on our street only go up to number 27. Hmm, yes. That's odd. I could have sworn she said 33. Strange. So dinner is ready. There's cauliflower with cutlets. Ah. Uh... Bennett. Sorry. It's nice to see you being so helpful, Lisa. Mom said that I might be allowed to keep them. Who? My guinea pigs. What guinea pigs? Don't ask. Mom, then can I also have a dog? I could order one on, on, online. What? That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, our Robert has learned how to tell jokes. That means next Friday's episode is sure to be very funny and exciting. So exciting, in fact, that the fire brigade has to be called. So be sure to tune in then. Hey, guys, don't forget to give us a... Thumbs up. Until next time at Playmo High School.